smart. We are not used to seeing images like this coming out of North Vancouver, although North Vancouver could get more snow than uh, down in Richmond or Metro, but what a storm it was, and it made for some very difficult driving. If you didn't have the proper equipment, the winter tires, uh, you're probably having a lot of trouble getting around. Hi, I'm Kim McDonald. Uh, weekend is over. Snow is not over, though. We continue to see snow through the lower mainland because essentially temperatures are just that cold. Even for Victoria, some snow in the forecast. This takes us through until about Tuesday evening, and then we've got more snow coming. So this what are we on now? Our third swath, uh, five to 10 centimeters, extreme southern Vancouver Island, but around Victoria, uh, Vancouver proper, trace amounts this time around. To the north, it's all about the cold, bitterly cold temperatures expected and are happening. And then Arctic outflow. This is Tuesday morning wind chills. Kamloops will feel like minus 33. Kelowna, minus 24. Just incredible cold. Even Vancouver feeling like minus 13 with a long range forecast that doesn't look anything like Vancouver typically but let's talk about the real cold in Alberta here's Tyler Hamilton yeah we know it's going to be cold Alberta and Saskatchewan but just how cold we have the data to back this up think 2009 2004 if you're a longtime resident of Alberta those cold snaps ring a bell so Edmonton International data goes back to 1960 top 10 coldest daytime highs to get on this infamous board you need a high between minus 32 and minus 34. That's completely reasonable forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. Digging up some further data, other weather stations around Edmonton, data begins 1880. It's 140 years of record and only seven historical readings stayed below minus 35 for a daytime high. Calgary, you're not off the hook. This is looking at like the coldest air mass in place since January of 2004 for the city of Calgary. And it's not coming to an end anytime soon either. That cold snap continues. In the meantime, in Ontario, ice, freezing rain, snow all this weekend. This was on Monday morning near Erin, Ontario. There goes the plow. <laughs> Take it easy and you can see those trees are just covered in ice because of the freezing rain that fell, especially Saturday overnight into Sunday morning. Uh, next system not bringing a whole lot to southern Ontario, but northern Ontario, you've got some snow coming through Tuesday. Places like North Bay all the way through Timmins, southern Ontario, a little bit of drizzle, some light snow mixed in. That's about it. But there are more storms coming your way. Toronto, here's your seven day forecast. A very cold Friday, minus nine for a high. Not cold in comparison to the west, however. And then we've got the systems coming to Atlantic Canada. We're going to talk about the weekend flooding in Ontario after your local forecast. You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. Current regional weather conditions. Overcast and minus 9 degrees in Carmen Mew of Man CS. Snow and minus 11 degrees in Plumas. Snow and minus 6 degrees in Steinbach. Snow and minus 11 degrees in St. Laurent. Local weather conditions. It is minus 7 degrees and feels like minus 12 with light winds. Cloudy with light snow currently, tapering to a few flurries this evening, probability of precipitation 100%. Temperatures will be remaining at minus 7 degrees. Cloudy with a few flurries overnight, and into the morning, probability of precipitation 40%. Overnight low near minus 11. There will be close to 1 centimeter of snow over the next 24 hours. Here now is the weather forecast for the next seven days. Tuesday, less than one centimeter of snow, probability of precipitation 40%, and a high of minus 12. Tuesday night, less than one centimeter of snow, probability of precipitation 40%, and a low of minus 20. Wednesday, close to one centimeter of snow, probability of precipitation 60%, and a high of minus 19. Wednesday night, partly cloudy, with a low of minus 32. Thursday, sunny, with a high of minus 25. Friday, light snow. Probability of precipitation 
and a high of minus 14. Saturday, a mix of sun and clouds, with a high of minus 21. Sunday, a mix of sun and clouds, with a high of minus 22. Monday, sunny, with a high of minus 24. Looking back at historical records, the record high for today is 5.3 degrees and was set in 1987. The record low for today is minus 36.1 degrees which was set in 1970. The average daytime high temperature for today is minus 11.2 degrees. Sunrise will be at 8.21 a.m. and sunset will be at 4.54 p.m. Your local forecast is every 10 minutes on the 10s. To upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. Go to theweathernetwork.com for an in-depth analysis on the science behind the forecast. Find exclusive articles straight from the meteorologists. An absolute dumping of snow on the south coast. We start in Ireland. Storm Brendan brought heavy rain, strong wind to communities along the west coast of the country over the weekend. It was, proje was projected to cross over the island and make landfall on the west coast of Great Britain as it continues to move forward. And that is a trampoline in the middle of a highway. Hmm. Moving on in uh, northwest New York, uh, Buffalo is among many cities cleaning up from severe storms from this past weekend. We were telling you going into the weekend that the heavy snow and freezing rain was going to be torrential downpours and thunderstorms stateside. This, unrelated to what's happening in the east, is just more evidence of the heavy snow from that wintry blast, all thanks to outflow wind, Arctic outflow wind, with the, with the freezing level still right down at sea level. Beginning January 23rd, 2000.